my review space is getting smaller. SMS LM3. Why? Who? Let's try who. Uh, Fio E10K. That's the direct competition for this unit. I mean, it's obviously not as small. The E10K is probably half this, maybe even less. But, Fio E10K. USB, spit if out, line out, volume control. So, SMSL M3. USB in, spit if in two spit of fins, so we've got a coaxial and a fiber. Line out, full RCA size. A separate DC input, so that you could use this unit if you have uh, fiber optic out on your game console, if you just want to use it to your TV. If your TV, you run a fiber optic cable to this, you plug DC power into a phone charger in the wall behind you, you have a headphone amp. Power button here. Individual, nine individual LEDs that show you which input you're on and then the uh, kilohertz. So 44, 48, 88, 96, 176, and 192. Full size quarter inch output, which I do like. It's one thing about that little FIO EO, E10K is that's what broke on mine. That's what broke on mine. One of the back broke. Just, you know, something went uh, and it was broken. So quarter inch on equipment. I do like quarter inch on equipment. What's wrong with you? Uh, knob. Actually, the weakest part of this is the knob, like the actual construction. It's got a, a locking thing so you can't pull it off, but, you know, it's just a cheap plastic knob. Not the worst thing ever. Comes with rubber feet. Solid. Plug it in. So there's two, again, there's two USB minis, or micros, I should say. And you, if you're going to use it on your computer or laptop or something, you go straight into in one. You don't have to plug the other one in for power. That's only if you're using it with a fiber optic or coaxial digital. Shut it off. Power it off. You can power this on and off with a switch. When you power it off, white LED there, you hit it. You hit it for a little longer. Boom. In one, it clicks over to 44 because this was a computer set to. You tap that in two, tap that in three, tap that in one. It hooks back up. It should just already be working on my foobar, which is great. Let's take out the T50RPs, which uh, I'll amend this video right here. My pair, my personal pair of T50RPs is weird, apparently, because everyone else is able to power these with their phone. And I think mine are getting better, which is an odd, odd thing to say. But uh, here. I mean, let me get to a song that actually has volume. There you go. Whoa, okay, let's get to the middle of that. So I'm a half gain on this unit. And that's a loud song, and it's it's officially loud in my headphones. And it gets real loud when you put it all the way up, so. So, yes. Is it more powerful than the Fio E10K? Well, the Fio E10K has a high and low gain switch, but it's also powered off USB. And once you're powered off USB, like the Fostex HBA3, children, fuck, if you E10K or this, once you're powered off USB, there's a limitation to the current that this could have inside it. Mica Origin, all those are USB powered units. Something like the Lake People here, or the Asgard 2, or the Emotiva, or this Wu Audio W22, those all plug into 110. They could have as hardcore an amplifier as they want. But once you go USB powered, you're sort of limited. Not that that's terrible, not that it won't power anything. It will power a lot of things, also this. Dust. How's it sound? I wanna say it sounds as good as anything else under $100, because it's under 100. So it's directly competing with the Fio. There's no bass boost like the Fio. The Fio has bass boost, which on its own is sort of like a gimmick, but when you actually sit down and do the math and say, okay, you could have like 30 pairs of headphones, and if 10 of them are bass light and you want to do gaming, you flip that switch and there you go. I mean, you could always EQ music. I could bring up a big fancy EQ and EQ the hell out of anything I want. But the ease of just going flip, flip doesn't exist. And since there's no high-low gain, it's basically high gain all the time, which is why
There's no channel imbalance either, which uh, might be a fluke. I know for a fact this is, this is going to be an analog knob, and most times analog knobs will develop a slight channel imbalance or get dirty. But that's just, that's just the way life is, man. Life gets dirty sometimes. Now, it's powered everything I've thrown at it. In fact, if you want to throw something a little more expensive on it than this, we can accommodate that. How about these Fostex Planars? 500 RPs. Let's borrow that massive cord, lower that, and it just barely fits. I have the HD800s in the shop, and their plug is, well, that's the wrong plug, but they have the massive plug, and it just barely fits in that little opening. See, this is a quiet song. Maximum gain on the M3. To be loud. To be loud. To be fair, to be loud. Whoa, okay, and then that gets way... I'm deaf. Gotta collect my thoughts now for a second. These will obviously get their own review. I'm not rushing into that. But, you know, this is a five, six hundred dollar pair of headphones. Five, six, seven, eight thousand pair. And... No issues. Lay that down on the floor, nice and gentle. Now what I like, if I have to redo my DAC amp guide, and I probably will at some point, I'm gonna split it in a very particular way where line outs versus pre outs. Get over here, over here. All right, Micah Origin, right? My favorite, one of my favorites. Some critics come up, they say, bah, 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 bah. I don't care. I don't care about what anyone else says, because that's how I have to live my life. Very good headphone amp. I love the features, love the high-low gain, love the two different sized outputs. You know, USB micro in with an external power in case you wanted to, uh, I think this, it's line out. Here's what this is. This is a pre-out. Get back to the thing. Line out side pre-outside. Line-outs means that the DAC inside of this will output full-time to the left and right. So if you hooked up a speaker amplifier to it, you could use the volume knob on that. And the problem with a pre-out, like the Origin has, let's see, what else has pre-outs? Origin has pre-outs. I'm blanked. I've blanked. Oh, like uh, the shit stack stuff all has pre-outs. Asgard here has pre-out. Pre-outs are great for powered monitors, right there, because they don't have a volume control. There's no, there's no volume, so you've got to limit the source. And if I use the Micro Origin, I plug in USB, plug in my headphone, and then this controls both the headphone and the output on the back, where this doesn't control the output on the back, no matter what you do up front. So this is this system with a full line out is better for you have this. You have an SA50 or an SA60 or speaker amp that has its own volume, then you can control headphones, turn them down, speakers turn them up and down, and makes it's all good. If you try to plug an SA60 or SA50 into a Micro Origin in the back, this volume controls the output to that volume. So it's a, just a big clusterfuck of unplug your headphones, turn this all the way up, then you could use the volume knob, and then you have to remember to turn this down and plug your headphones. But, so there's a benefit to having a full line out. The Fio E10K has a full line out. It's a three and a half millimeter, but that shouldn't make a difference. It's just bypassing the internal headphone amp and you know you push it to whatever. So I guess the basic question is, do you need to save on the size and get the Fio E10K? Like that's great for a laptop. You know, putting a little bag, it's that big, fine. Or do you say, screw it, get the M3, which sounds just as clean, maybe a little sharper. And I'm just, again, I don't want to get into the measuring of it, but maybe just a touch sharper in the highs, a good sharp in the highs. And then you gain two different inputs, three different inputs, and full-size RCA outputs. Also, this is only 24-bit. So when you put it in the little Windows settings, it's like, 16-bit? No, it doesn't even available. Not even available. Not the same problem that the Fostex had, 
where it could only do 96 kilohertz. This does six different kilohertz ratings. It only does 24 bit, which is nice. It doesn't matter. None of the programs care, none of the computer doesn't care. It's just 24 bit. As long as you don't try to force 16 bit content at it, it doesn't have a problem. So, for the cost, which is less than the origin, I still like the origin. Better? Well, I like the form factor is better. I think if you have headphones here and you have a volume on top, that, that would be just. Cause it, it, uh, oh, there it is. I mean, if you have this up on a shelf, then there's no problem. So, form factor, I still like the origin better. But, if you told me I had to sit at a desk and it has powered monitors, taking this. So I'm sitting at a desk and it has a speaker amp and passive speakers like like uh, the SX6 or something. I'm taking the M3 because the lineouts make all the difference for ease of use, all the difference. So quality unit, quality unit powers everything I throw at it. I'm gonna plug the 800s in. I have to change the wire. I'm not I'm not prepared for that right now. Audis EL8s. Put them on here. God. Oh God. Very, very, very don't. Don't do that. Speaker stands. Headphone stands. Sub stands. Yeah, I'm powering... By the way, I have a preview on these EL8s. They're the portable... This is as good as uh, Audis gets is making a portable. Because I'm at... 10 o'clock, and that is loud. I love these headphones. Surprise, I love Audis. No character flaws, all right? I don't get critical enough, I don't show the specs. I'll link to the specs. No character flaws in the audio that I could tell, via ear. And if you need line out, if you have a desk set up, you want to go passive, you need this. You're going active, speakers, monitors, JBL 305s, something like the Origin, something that has a variable volume control for the back. That's the way it works, people. You've got to get real specific now.